Bhagavad Gita chapter 2 verse 16 sloka chanting is followed by translation and commentary by Swami Mukundananda In today's commentary you will learn what is the nature of real happiness Swami ji presents the views of various jagat gurus Vaishnava acharyas and western philosophers on the nature of the world and the reconciliation of those views विद्यते विद्यते उभयोरपि of the transient there is no endurance and of the eternal there is no cessation this has verily been observed by the seers of the truth after studying the nature of both now shri krishna goes further into that deep philosophy and says arjun that which is real always exists and that which is temporary is asat so earlier he had explained that this pleasure and pain are temporary experiences you know the way bliss is defined in the scriptures it says bliss is that which will always remain if it is temporary it is not bliss like people say you know swami ji yesterday I had a gala time what happened oh i went to see that particular museum in dc in that place and then i went to the restaurant and then i went and had a dance and all right so then you were very happy yes and what happened today Today you know I was down with fever I had virus and also my television was not working my car broke down my air conditioner was also giving problems I was sitting at home and getting bored So that happiness you got yesterday went away today <laughs> Yes that is not real happiness which will come and then go it's not real happiness real happiness will be that which once you get it it will remain forever there is the incident of guru nanak when he was returning from arabia and he went to the court of the emperor babar so babar seeing that a very elevated fakir has come he welcomed him and he gave him a cup of bhang of opium and said sai ji take this and nanak was experiencing the bliss of the name of god he was chanting the name and eternal bliss so he said bhang tambaku chotara utar jaye parbhat नाम खुमारी नानका चढ़ी रहे दिन रात दिस एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ ब्लिस फ्रॉम भांग तंबाकू एटसेट्रा इट विल बी फिनिश्ड इन द मॉर्निंग देर विल बी अंग ओवर यू नो वेन पीपल ड्रिंक द नेक्स्ट डे दे आर डाउन विद हेड एक सो दैट इज कॉल्ड अंग ओवर सो नेक्स्ट डे देर विल बी अंग ओवर द इंटॉक्सिकेशन दैट आई एम एक्सपीरियंसिंग फ्रॉम द होली नेम this intoxication forever remains with me so the veda say that seek that kind of bliss everybody is seeking bliss even the little child is seeking bliss from his ice cream and from his basketball and cricket but seek such a bliss that will always remain that is the bliss of uniting with god tad vishnu paramam padam sada pashyanti suraya because once you attain god 
you will attain him for ever it's not that you know yesterday i attained god but then today i am back in maya it sada pashyanti suraya forever so the bliss of god will also remain forever shri krishna says arjun these experiences of misery etc they are temporary hence they are unreal like your experience in a cinema hall you know when you go into a cinema hall an illusion is created that is unreal so now you people have been watching cinema for many years you know it is an illusion When the first movie started off in India our elders would tell us that first when the movie started off people would go to the movie hall and when there was a tragedy then they would all be crying out there because they could not distinguish between the illusion and reality they would think actually this person is suffering how bad this villain is why is he troubling him like this so they would accept the illusion as a reality so shri krishna says that arjun that which is not permanent is not a reality now what about this world this is also not permanent this is also changing heraclitus said you cannot step into the same stream twice why you take one step the next time you step in the stream has changed it has flown past the water has changed he said you cannot look at the same tree twice you look at it once you look at it again it's changed so similarly this world is always changing in fact sansar the word for world in sanskrit sansar it means sansarati ti sansara जो सरखता जाए विच कीप्स मूविंग गच्छती थी जगत विच कीप्स ऑन वॉकिंग दैट इज द वर्ल्ड सो इफ दिस वर्ल्ड इज ऑल्सो नॉट परमानेंट इज दिस ऑल्सो अनरियल ना दिस लीड्स टू अ बिग फिलोसफिक डिस्कशन देर इज द फिलोसफी ऑफ शंकराचार्य he says yes the world is not sat it is not real it is mithya mithya means non existent the world doesn't exist it's created by your mind what does that mean like you dream so the dream is non existent it's created by your mind similarly this world is a creation of your mind this philosophy exists in the west as well there was berkeley the father of idealism and there have been other philosophers fichte hegel kant even plato who established subjective idealism objective idealism two kinds of idealistic philosophies so we have got in the indian system this concept that brahma satyam jagan mithya jeevo brahmai vanatara jagan mithya means the world doesn't exist it's a creation of your mind now there are other philosophers jagat guru madhva acharya who established dvaitvad jagat guru ramadev acharya who established vishishta dvaitvad jagat guru nimbarka acharya who established dvaita dvaitvad mahaprabhu vallabha acharya who established vishuddha dvaitvad shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu who established achintya bheda bhedvad the six streams of philosophy established by the various acharyas so these five great philosophers and saints they say no the world is existing why because you are eating it's not an illusion we will pass away the world will remain if it was our creation the world food should have finished if we have all created the world with our mind how come we have created exactly the same world we should all have created different different worlds and it is such an intricate world from the tiniest quark to the biggest galaxy 
if our mind has created it our mind has done an amazing feat and the vedas say that god is pervading this world tat srishtva tadeva anupravishat he creates the world and he pervades it so if isha vasya medagvam sarvam if god is all pervading in this world how can it have no existence at all so the vaishnava acharya said the world does exist it is a sat which shri krishna says here it is not mithya it is a sat a sat means temporary not non existence temporary so shri krishna is saying that which is temporary is not eternal now kripalu ji maharaj synthesizes these two views of the two differing points of view upon the world shankaracharya's view when he said the world is mithya and the view of the vaishnava acharyas who say the world is asat so kripalu ji maharaj is actually they are both right how can both be right either the world is existent or it is non existent he says no there are two kinds of worlds one is the external world around you that you can see taste touch feel smell one is the world within your own mind the world in the mind your thoughts ideas belief concepts desires hatreds envies this is the world in your own mind so the external world is existing it's created by god the internal world has no existence it's all in your mind that is mithya not the external world you will say swami ji there is a world inside us as well that's right you contact it when you sleep when you are sleeping in your dream you are seeing hearing tasting touching walking how are you doing it your eyes are all closed under that comforter with which eyes are you seeing you are not seeing this world you are seeing the world of your own mind so there's a world inside us that's very big that god has not created we have created god's world the external world that is one for everybody if there is a microphone there is a microphone for everyone but the internal world is different for everyone you purchased your new cadillac car this is the external world it's an external object you are very happy see what a wonderful feat i did your neighbor looks and he burns with envy look this fellow how did he get such an expensive car i am sure he's got some black business going on somewhere this is the result of black marketing the same car is giving misery to him which was giving happiness to you so the car is existent the misery and the happiness is all in the mind that is mithya not the car so there is the external world that god creates and there is the internal world that we create the misery we experience is not because of the external world the misery we experience is because of our own internal world for our misery we blame external things my husband is like that my wife is like that my son is like that my neighborhood is like that my country is like that kalyug is like that the prime minister is like that we are always passing on the blame to the external world the vedas say don't blame the external world it's created by god and it is the form of god 
and it's perfect god's creation is never imperfect the taoist saying there's a taoist saying the snow flakes fall slowly to the ground each flake in its proper place what it is indicating is that this world is exactly the way it is supposed to be it has been created for our evolution it is like the book it is like a guru the misery and suffering you are experiencing is because of your own inner world that is why the western philosopher john milton had said the mind is a thing of its own and in itself can make you experience heaven in hell and hell in heaven shakespeare had said there's nothing good or bad in this world thinking makes it so and the vedas maitreyi upanishad states chittam eva hi sansaras tat prayatnena shodhet the sansar that is binding you is not the external world it is the chit your own mind tat prayatnena shodhaya cleanse that mind and living in this world you will be at total peace and in the vedic tradition there have been great kings who did it there was janak there was dhruv prahlad they had a huge family they were doing their kingly duties they were discharging sam dam dand bhed but yet they were liberated because the internal world was not existing so when the internal world doesn't exist externally nothing can bind the person so that fortunate soul who can finish the inner world for that soul the external world will become harmless so arjun your experience of misery etc is all in your mind learn to understand the functioning of this inner world learn to change it and finally to purify it to make it divine fill it with love for shri krishna and then you will be perfectly blissful in this external situation so that he says which does not continue to exist is asat and that which is real will eternally exist so don't be overcome by this misery and suffering Thank you for being a part of the Gita Gyan Yagya which is our humble attempt to spread the divine knowledge of the Bhagavad Gita. Please subscribe to our channel 